Students and staff at Temple University are still absorbing the news we brought you right here last night that the university's president is stepping down. Jason Wingard will officially leave his post on Friday after two tumultuous years on the job. Right now, the school is just beginning the process of finding a new leader to confront some very serious challenges. Action News reporter John Paul live there on campus in North Philadelphia tonight. And John, that list of challenges is not a short one. No, it's a long one. Yeah, a lot of grievances from faculty, staff, and students here on campus. But I'll tell you this, the announcement of that resignation yesterday came as a surprise to a lot of people. Very much came as a surprise to all of us yesterday. The resignation comes as a surprise to the faculty. They weren't expecting to hear that Dr. Jason Wingard was stepping down at the end of the week after less than two years as president. But they say he was only part of the problem. It was never just about one person for us. It was about some, some substantial concerns around, about uh, the university. Those concerns include dropping enrollment, financial issues, a strike, and a rise in crime near campus. The problems reached a fever pitch last week when the faculty agreed on taking a no-confidence vote for Dr. Jason Wingard, the board chair, Mitch Morgan, and the provost, Gregory Mandel. Have you been in contact with him at all? I tracked Mandel down outside of his office today but he had no comment. I think it was a surprise to the university community. I did find Temple's chief operating officer, Ken Kaiser, who has a big job ahead of him, helping lead a large public university without a president. I don't know if there's one thing he could have done, but you know, it's definitely going to be a major focus as we move forward, and that will be a major challenge for the next president. And Kaiser will help lead that search for a new president, who will have to tackle the issues that plague the school. I think we want the new president to just really engage with the university and support the university's mission, and most importantly, again, our, our students and our faculty as well. And we did ask you about an interim president. We're told that possibly could happen in the next week, likely within the next month. We'll know who that is. We also did reach out to uh, Dr. Jason Wingard. We have not heard back from him, and I'm told that no one saw him on campus today. We are live on the campus of Temple University, John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Brian.